So, so what do I have here? Uh, this is what MTN calls a router. Um, so I see this more like, uh, I would rather call it a hotspot with some extended features, of course, because it's more like your, the hotspot of your mobile uh, phone. Okay, so because it isn't fiber or cable internet, it's uh, uh, your cellular internet. So uh, calling it <laughs> a router is, uh, well, let's just say it's a router. There is uh, an issue with this. So uh, if you are from the region of the world or from a place where you have no option than to live off grid, that is, you don't uh, get constant power supply, uh, then then most uh, you might be facing an issue like I was uh, facing. So you see this uh, stuff that comes with this uh, uh, router. They call it what they call it uh, mini UPS, or I don't know. That's what they call it, a mini UPS. Okay, this one, for instance, has I think a 4,000 mAh battery capacity. That means I would have to charge it uh, several times in a day. So I have to fully charge several times just in a day to be able to, uh, to keep this thing working two, four, seven. But if you are living off grid, there's no electricity, you really have to manage your uh, self. <laughs> you know, you have to manage power and you have to look for alternatives. And one of the alternatives that we've gotten ourselves used to is uh, power banks. So, so imagine you have a very large power bank, like a 50,000 milliamp hour, 40,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank, and uh, you live off grid like I do, because uh, when the politicians are greedy, you are definitely going to live off grid. <laughs> so you have a, a power bank, and then you, uh, you, your power bank, you manage to charge it, and you want to keep your uh, keep this thing running 24 hours, but you don't have the electricity. So uh, what you might think is, uh, so it can, it can actually become uh, a challenge. And I also had a challenge. So here was how I solved it. So you see this uh, power bank, it comes with its own adapter, its own uh, 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 charging uh, brick, and of course this uh, DC, DC cable. And then, uh, so you'd have to plug it to a socket outlet for you to get this thing on, okay? You have to plug the socket outlet and plug it here to continue to power on this stuff. There is no other way. So you, if you look at this router, you can see that there is a USB-C port. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know why it's even here. So I, I, I would rather call it a mere gimmick. Or probably, maybe you can connect to it. You can connect to it. Because we have uh, ROG45 ports here. So if we also have a USB port here, it means you can maybe connect to it. Uh, connect through USB-C, so you can connect to this uh, router or uh, hotspot or however you see it, you can connect to it through uh, USB-C. So, the only way you can connect is through this uh, DC port, like I said. And then the the issue I had was that the, uh, so, there is no way I can connect to my, connect this to, for instance, this is a small power bank, I'm just using it for a demo. So if I have, a, I have, I actually have a very large power bank. So the first thing that, sorry, <laughs> the first thing that came to my mind was, let me just get this thing to, uh, how do I uh, achieve this? So I went on to buy a USB-A to DC cable. So well, here's what I mean here, a USB-A to DC cable. So one side of it is a USB-A connection and this side is uh, a USB connection. So my initial thought was that if I can just get this to my power bank, get this other part of my power bank, and then plug this uh, other side to this uh, mini UPS, I'll be able to power on this, uh, I'll be able to be charging this uh, UPS, and then this UPS continues to power on this. So I'll be, I'll be able to run it, for as long as there is battery in this power bank, uh, I will be able to run it uh, continuously. But I was wrong because it turned out to be, it turned out to be that this USB uh, to DC cable can only carry five volts. So uh, this did not work. In order to solve this issue, I got I got uh, what we call uh, a, 
a 5V to 9V amp, uh, slash 12V uh, converter. So what I mean is, let me get it. So here's what, here, so here was the solution. So what do I have here? This is, uh, on this side, this is uh, also a USB, uh, a USB A to uh, DC uh, cable. But this one, where this default is at, this one has a 5V to 12V or 9V converter. So what happens is that the voltage that comes here, this uh, steps it up. This is a little step up transformer. In fact, if I'm going to call it, so it steps it up to about 12 volts or 9 volts, depending on where you push this uh, switch. And then you get it, you can then plug it to these uh, mini UPS, and then continue to power it on, like I will demonstrate here. So you, I have this other side plug for this, my power bank. And then you see this comes up, it's 9.3 volts, because I've currently set it to, uh, to 9 volts. If I switch it, it becomes 12 volts. And then you can see, as you can see, these uh, mini UPS is being charged. Let me remove, remove it and then plug it again. You can see that this mini UPS is uh, being charged and then this other guy is being powered on. So this is how I get this thing running 247, even though I leave off grid because there is no other option. So this, this so if you have this device, or it's a similar device, this, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, solution works for routers in general. So if your router is having a, power, a backup, a power backup that is really small and you don't get constant electricity, but you have a power bank, you can use this method to power on to, you know, to give more uh, running time to your uh, router. I hope this helps.